Hi everyone, Banana here, professional Tekken player from Spain, 5 times offline tournament winner in my country and Metafy coach. Today we are here to talk about the villain himself from KOF slash Fatal Fury, Gies Howard. But before so, make sure to subscribe to Dash Fight and check their website for all things FGC. Let's go! That being said, we can start with a short character overview. So, um, myself, I started playing Geese since Season 1, but decided to master him between Season 2 and Season 3. And playing this character, it's been so much fun. One of the things, personally, I like from Geese Howard is that it can be played in different ways it can be played very tactical you know like uh, looking for the parry looking for the gap or it can be played in a very improvised way right so i want to emphasize about gish changes from the last patch changing his game plan a little bit right so um Giz has always been a character with many counter hit moves with launcher properties such as down four for instance such as his neutral 4, such as his forward 4, his forward, uh, his sorry, his back 4-4 four, four as well, and his uh, down forward 1-4, right? But in the last patch, they nerfed uh, some other tools he had for counter hit, such as his down forward 2, right? This move is a homing move, um, very, very... Uh, good move but now if you see it's not counter hit launcher anymore that's why it became his uh, wall tactics his wall crash now so yeah you get plus over plus 20 i feel um at the wall but you know it doesn't splat anymore so uh it's not as good as it used to be other than that they also nerfed his sidestep three it used to be combo as well in counter hit but not anymore it gives you a uh, huge plus frames but it's not counter hit anymore that's why his game plan changed a little bit and now um you have to play him a little bit more like in a tactical way i would say yeah that's how i feel um and of course his most important change is that his mid parry became plus 14 when it used to be plus 15 right so if we check it right before you could parry and do this huge combo so that would be a chunk of damage there but now it's only plus 14 so that means you only have back three two four guaranteed that's the only combo you can get out of it if we check the frames that's plus 14 right so that means we cannot uh, use the standing two as we used to uh, so that's why we gotta use his back uh, back three uh, it's 15 you can still get a good co combo out of it but it's not uh, as much damage as it used to be with the standing two here um, other than that when you do the parry at the wall um, now it's harder to splat your opponent so they kind of nerfed that so if i get a, pa a parry from here i gotta do like this combo and spend the meter or um i can like if i'm this this uh this close here i can do the parry and then use back one three that's all i can get now but still uh it's not that consistent actually so that made him uh, a little bit weaker than earlier um Perry wise, yeah. Become Dash Fight supporter on Patreon. Get early access to Dash Fight guides. Click the link in the description. In terms of movement, uh, Geese's uh, sidestep or sidewalk is super good. It's one of the best in the game. His backdash as well. In general, his movement is super good. Super, super good. And uh, 
his uh, main property as a 2D character, as a guest character, is his jump. So I don't know if many people knew that, but 2D characters, they jump at 5 frames. So if I jump uh, forward or if I jump back, this is uh, 5 frames. When Tekken characters, when they jump forward or back, it's 9 frames. So there is so there are there's some frames of difference. Um, yeah, four frames of difference. And but Key's upward jump is uh, almost same than a Tekken uh, character. Another specific property about Gis is that you can cancel some of his moves into special extensions after for instance jab. So you can you you can use jab forward three jab forward one, uh, jab dp1 or jab dp2, jab qcb2, jab qcb2 one, jab qcb2 four for example. You can cancel into different moves here, even one into hcb3 or one into hcb4. So you can cancel these moves after jab after down four as well after standing two also after down three one or after while standing one as well. Right, or after forward one. Right. Talking about Gis's uh, key moves, we can start talking about his jab. His jab is one of the best in the game, potential best jab in the game. Uh, if you see, uh, Gis takes a step forward every time he jabs, if you notice here. So that makes it super, super good. Uh, you can do jab, jab into any extension we saw before. Um, you can do jab, a uh, jab, jab, or one, two. Second one is mid. Look at the range too, um, and it tracks to uh, the left side quite a bit, so it make that makes it better. You can do one, two, three, or one, two, one, one to mix your opponent up. So it's a very, very good job. As I, as I said, uh, insane recovery. Uh, you can even sometimes pressure your, op your opponent when your opponent is in rage if you pressure him with jabs, and if he uses rage art sometimes. Due to the fast recovery, you can even like recover, uh, press back, uh, block the rage art, and punish the rage art. Other key moves than than that, we can get uh, side step three is plus four. So um, if you try back three afterwards, um, on, they can only interrupt with jabs. Other than jabs, you're gonna get your back three there with the combo afterwards. So um, side step three, very good, and yeah, back three uh, is his 14 frame punisher. Um, if you are fast enough, uh, you can react to back three being on hit, so you can confirm uh, with the back three two there. You can also delay the second one. Um, yeah, it's super good. Um, being uh, 14 frames, it's super fast. So that's why it can sometimes like catch you stepping or catch you punishing. It's like super, super good move. Super good. Um, you also have forward four. We talked about this. It's a move you want to use at certain range to get your counter hit. Uh, forward four, it is minus 13, but very hard to punish. As you can see here. Minus 13, yeah. It gives you a... Uh, some pushback there yeah but still good use uh, good to use in in long range 
for the same range, you can also use uh, forward two. It's another move uh, you can uh, use for the long range. Co confirm it. Forward three two there. Yep. And uh, we mentioned earlier down forward four and one plus two. And of course, his uh, his standing two is. Uh, one of the scariest moves in the games. Some people call it the nuke. So if you get hit by standing two, you can get a combo like this one, for example. Yeah, very damageful, right? So um, that would be it for his uh, key moves. And he also has a wall bounce which is plus two on block. This is plus two. So you can keep on the, doing some pressure there. And on hit is your wall bounce here. So you can continue the combo here. Also very important to mention, uh, Giz has uh, some projectiles called Repuken. As you can see here. Uh, right, so this is something very unique from Geese Howard. Uh, if you want to compare, these projectiles are like uh, Akuma's uh, fireballs. But Repugans can be jumped over. That's the only difference, I would say. Uh, you have normal Repugan, you have double Repugan, you have Raigo Repugan as well. Yeah, that's something very unique. You can also jump on the air and do the rip hooken. Jump forward and do the rip hooken. Jump backwards, do the rip hooken. This one, the uh, jumping rip hooken, uh, you normally use it for covering uh, some space, right? Uh, double rip hooken is, um, is slower. And the fastest one is the normal Ripuken, which is uh, QCF1 there. Other special moves from Geese are HCB3. So this is his power crash and HCB4 also being a power crash. So uh, this is a mix up. Um, if we record it here, we can see uh, these moves are quite strong because they are power crash and there is a mix up. So. You can, depending on the one you choose your opponent, you can uh, you can do the next thing. You can uh, crouch, you can duck the high and punish it like this. Or if your opponent does the meet, it's minus 14. So how to check the difference? So the high, is two hits and the mid is three hits so if you see three hits you can punish it minus 14 and try to get a combo afterwards or depending on your character you can get at least some damage out of your 14 frame punisher now let's talk about this meter um, Giz meter is something very unique. Um, Akuma has meter, Eliza has meter, but Giz has the original KOF meter, right? So, first of all, how to build this meter? So, of course, uh, you gotta like, as you see, hit your opponent. Uh, if you hit on block, the meter will build up in a slow way. But if you do it on hit. As you can see, it does more damage, as you see, right? Even throws, yeah, throws, the, they do a lot of damage here. Um, but on block, as you see, it's not that much. Right, that's how you build meter, basically. So the maximum uh, meter you can build is up to three. As you can see here right so what happens when you have meter 
when you have meter you get some access to some uh, specific moves you can only use while uh, using this meter right so you can use it uh, raw which is one plus two plus plus three there you go and uh, yeah you get this display about max mode there and you can start using some moves with meter so what moves can we use uh, with meter right so we can use um, HCB 3 plus 4 a safe power crash mid one without the without the the meter we we said it was minus 14 there you go but with meter it is safe it's only plus two and it is mid as well power crash yeah same um we also have the instant ship token here so if we hit our opponent we can get a combo afterwards if we are fast enough there you go um you also have uh this the two fist is a wall bounce which is qcb 2 uh one plus two um you if you want uh some plus frames we also have uh, it's a forward one plus two uh qcb uh one plus two so it adds plus four so you also have like uh plus frames uh in max mode as well um you also have um qcb one plus two three you can get the combo out of it like your opponent ducks or crouches or or you can do the low is a combo as well as you can see here um other than that, um, you have access to a new parry. So if your opponent does a mid or a high, with the mid parry, you're going to cover both. Only being in, uh, in max mode, of course. If you do, sorry, if you do the high parry, you can cover both. Now, that's a, that's a high. I cover the high. And now I cover the mid. With the same parry. You can also get the DP uh, max mode transition. So you get the combo after it. As you can see. So that's the combo you want to use after this. To get a chunk of damage as a starter and you also have uh, the, the rep booking in max mode so that actually splats at the wall and uh, on block it becomes uh, plus one uh, so it's quite good you have a lot of things to do to work with uh, when you are using the meter so it's quite complete it's a uh, it's quite complete and uh, his max mode is very useful but you have to uh, know when to use it because if not uh, you will lose all this meter you've been building uh, for nothing so you gotta know when to use your meter use it smart so now the question is after what moves can i use my meter so you can use your meter after uh, jab, so you press jab and 1 plus 2, so you use your meter. Uh, you can use it after 2, same. After down 4, same. You can also use it um, after while standing 1, same. And you can use it after forward 1 as well. So you can do max mode like this, max mode like this, max mode like this. There are many ways. After back 3 2, so you get the combo afterwards. If not, on block, you just get uh, blast frames. Sorry. 
There we are. Plus two. You can also get it after down three one. Down three one forward three max mode as well. After forward three, after one forward three. All these transitions can be used to get your max mode. Um, after all these moves, um, generally um, you use it for getting the combos. So if you get the standing two, you get the forward one and then you activate it and do the max mode here. Or you can use back to three two uh, as a uh, whiff punisher. So once you confirm your whiff punish, then you can use your meter and get the combo afterwards. Also, um, Gis's uh, long range punisher is the forward two. It's 17 frames. So if you get it, you can also use the meter afterwards. As you as you see here, and you can get the combo. That's how you get uh, you punish, for instance, Asuka's back three with forward two. Right, so when you get two meter, you have special special access to some moves that will use two meter, right? So you always use one meter uh, when you cancel any move, but when you get two, you get special access to, for instance, uh, Raigure Puken, which is QCF, QCF one plus two. Go. So this is um, a special move. Um, you cannot jump or interrupt this move. So you gotta block it and on block is minus two for your opponent. So it's plus two for you. You can, uh, it's at plus one, but depending against the wall is also, it can be plus two. It changes depending on the distance as well for instance now it's minus 19 yeah it keeps on changing but normally it's plus one plus two at the wall if you use it plus one plus two yeah um so when you want to use that move you can use it in a combo uh, or you can use it uh, just to chip damage, to do chip damage. So if your opponent has uh, 4 damage or 3 or 4 damage, uh, sorry, 3 or 4 HP, uh, you can kill your opponent like this. Yeah, that's like the chip damage. That's called chip damage. So you can actually kill your opponent if he has 3 or 4 HP. You can just do this and kill your opponent. Uh, it does three or four damage. Um, you can use it even after this to confirm it. Yeah. And you have uh, also access to an another moves. Uh, another move you are gonna spend two meter, which is my favorite move in the entire game, which is Raging Storm. There you go. This move also does uh, cheap damage. Um, so it does the same damage, three or four damage. Um, and the thing with the, with this move is the same. You can't jump over it. You can't interrupt it. Um, and the thing with this move is that it's nine frames fast. So you can even punish some things at, at minus nine. This one comes out at uh, 10 frames. But it's much easier to do for me at least the uh, Raging Storm. Yeah. Um, so for instance, you can also do some frame traps after it. Like, for example. So, if my opponent does the, um, down forward 1-1, one, one, for instance, and I try to just jab to check, this is what can happen. <laughs> and you get the punish as well. So you can do a lot of frame traps with this. Uh, it has some evasion as well. So it is high crash, uh, low crash, and only at some times 
can uh, can trade. Yeah, it's super good. It's a super good move. Um, you can buffer it, so you can just do the input HCB, 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 and then when you think you you, you want to use it, you just go to down forward and you use it like this. You can also like buffer it while backdashing. So if you're backdashing and then you want to use it, like this. same with forward. Yeah, it's a it's a high execution move, but uh, once you master it, it becomes uh, quite easy, even though in tournaments, uh, because of the nerves, it becomes uh, hard sometimes. So another question you might be asking right now is, what can you do with 3 meters? Right, so you can spend 3 meters in one combo and get a huge damage full combo, right? That's what you can do using 3 meters uh, at the same time in a combo. That's the only way you cannot use three meters in one move. So you can use three meters in a combo, like this one, for instance, here. We use one, now we use the Raging Storm at the wall, and we finish the combo. That's how you use three meters in one combo at the same time. Yeah, so talking about Rage, um, Geese, Howard, doesn't have no rage drive but he has two rage arts so that's quite interesting let's check the first rage art first rage art is a unblockable high so you cannot block it if you hold back you're gonna eat it so you gotta crouch here and punish it that's his normal rage art and now he also has a uh, middle rage art, mid rage art. So you can see there if you block now, yeah, you can punish it. Yeah, very fine. Um, but this rage art has something very unique. Uh, you have to like follow up the rage art, so you have to do a ten frame, uh, sorry, a ten hit combo. So I'm, I'm gonna do it now. That's it. Uh, that's something very unique. Uh, with Geese, uh, if you want to do this Rage Art, you just don't wait uh, and see how the Rage Art looks like. You actually do the Rage Art yourself, so that's pretty sick and does a lot of damage. So for instance, if we do a simple, simple combo, we can connect it here with a normal Rage Art. That would be it. And if we do it with the new, well, with the other, uh, the most damageful Rage Art. That's it. Last hit is 20 damage, always. It's a lot, a lot of damage. So for the combos, I'm gonna recommend different combos here. Um, first of all, um, I'm gonna show you guys the bread and butter combo. So after back three, so back three two, that would be the combo. This would be a simple combo. Um, a little bit more advanced combo would be this. If you want to do a advanced combo with more wall carry, this would be the one. So for wall carry combos, um, I recommend doing this. This does more more wall carry than the previous ones or you can also do this one for the combos with rage art i recommend doing this or with the other rage art
Right, so for doing the rage art here, um, you have to do HCB like this, and then press forward, forward, and then uh, 3 plus 4. So you have to buffer this uh, rage art. So that's why you want to do HCB and then forward, forward to, to, to take a, a step forward and then press the rage art. If not, you're gonna you're not gonna connect the rage art so you wanna do hcb forward forward and then press three plus four that's the trick so you can get uh this uh, most dameageful rage art at the end of the combo that's the trick the combo from standing two would be this this the staple one The combo for the wall carry would be this. And the combo with the raging storm could be this one. And the combo with the uh, Raiko Repuken. This is the combo you want to use if you don't have walls. That's the combo you want to use. That's it. It's pretty hard to do. Um, you need a lot of practice, but deals a lot of damage. So that's the combo you want to do. For, for the Rygor Epuken when you don't have walls. If you have walls and you want to spend your meter, go for the Raging Storm. The combo I recommend for wall bounce would be this. The combo for wall bounce with meter would be this. Or this. And about strengths and weaknesses, about Geese. Um, Geese is super good at movement. And uh, if you play him very tactical and, and you get the standing too, you can do a lot of damage. Um, so Geese can be played in different ways, as I said earlier. Um, I feel his punishes are super strong. You have his back three at 14, standing two at 15. Um, very good while standing punishes as well you ha also have while standing three uh, 15 here um, he has uh, a lot of moves now um, to track both sides even though um, some characters uh, that has good movement can affect keys um, down for two used to be very good uh, so in high level some characters or some players who can do uh, a lot of uh, fuzzy guards and stuff uh, that can be hard to deal for geese um, like uh, sidestep crouch and stuff like that I can still check with my downford too but it makes it harder so I feel geese is pretty good in the game um, I, I don't know if he's still top 5 maybe he's right after top 5 but definitely very good, very damageful, um, and a very nice character in general. Um, weaknesses, that would be range, I would say. You have forward four, forward four and forward two, but other than that, um, he has to do the, he has to apply the pressure uh, in your face. I would say, yeah, you can do uh, down forward, down four, sorry, or forward four, these moves, but if you wanna apply some pressure, you're gonna be, you know, 
in in his face trying to outpoke him or something like that um and uh, also geese is pretty weak against uh characters uh such as safina um kunimitsu um all these characters that have a uh, good movement and especially good backdash in a tournament if you lose they would choose uh, wallace stage and they would start backdashing so i only have two options here i can just go for the wall running to try to uh, hit my opponent or down four that those are the two options um because my moves are not going to reach if my opponent is back the shin. My back two is not going to hit. Uh, my forward four is this not. So, um, yeah, suffers a lot against uh, characters with good movement. Uh, especially Safina here. I hope you guys enjoyed this guide. For more content, you can check my YouTube channel, Banana Tekken, or book a lesson with me on Metafy. I know how to play almost all the characters in the game. I have a lot to teach to anybody who's interested um in uh, this game but before we finish this video i'm gonna show you how to do a dead combo with geese let's go And for all things shown in this video, there is a text version via the link in the description. But yeah, if you liked this video, please leave a like and comment below of your thoughts. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.